Hi, good day. As promised, this is Dr. Fiona right here. As promised, I'm going to give you some refrigeration videos. And this is one of my first. Today, what we're going to be doing is testing a refrigerator compressor. And this is a reciprocating compressor. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to do some electrical tests. Test the windings of the compressor. Which if you look carefully, just bear with me. I don't have a camera pause in here. Okay, so you can have a good look there now at the meter. I'm going to be testing for continuity between these three pins. Now the top pin usually is common. The right usually is start, and the left is your run winding. The run winding stays continuously in the circuit. The start winding, it just, it's just there momentarily. There's a device called a start relay that connects between these two pins. As a compressor kicks on and it has, gets started, it opens because a back EMF or counter electromagnetic force field is created. And it opens, it breaks the, um, the, the magnetic flow in the coil of the relay and it opens the circuit. So the run winding will con stay con um, consistently in the circuit, taking out the start. That's how it basically runs. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put one probe. I put it on the top probe and I put this one on the right. And if we look carefully, we're seeing about 24 ohms which should be the start winding and the start winding should be a higher have higher resistance than the run and we're gonna prove that right now and if you look we see in about 14 ohms they're about on the run winding now if I put the probes between both of them it should add up to about 38 ohms okay I'm getting 36 which is not bad Given or taken. So, right here we have proven that our windings between run, start, and the common, they're all good. So, between common, run, and start, our windings are good. They're not burnt out. So, this compressor electrically, I'll give this compressor a pass electrically. Now, the next set of tests we're going to do. Is short to ground so I'm leaving one probe and one one probe and one pin which is a common pin I'm gonna place this other lead on one of the pipes a suction pipe this is and as you can see on the meter it's just indicating one on the far for the right, for the left, sorry, of the meter. This one all by itself stands for infinity or open. So it means there's no electricity flowing between the winding, the common winding, the common pin, and the chassis ground of this compressor. I'm gonna move it from common, place it on the start pin. And you see, the value does not change. We, doesn't, we, we are not getting a beep or a buzzer. There's no electricity flow there to chassis ground. I test run, the meter stands still, still open, or infinity, there's no electricity, so it's not grounded. So electrically, we can say that this compressor is good, and what I'm going to do for further tests, I'm going to hook up a jumper lead on a compressor, which I've made up myself. So I have this 3 pin plug here, I just have two wires to it, this is ground pin, this is live and neutral. In St. Vincent, where I'm living in the Caribbean, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, single phase is supplied 230, 240 volts, thereabout. And it's cycled at 50 hertz. 
not 60 like the US. Our three phase system is 400, 415 volts. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm placing the brown, which is my life, uncommon, and blue, neutral on my run. Because between these two pins, there's going to be a continuous flow because this is the run winding. And I'm gonna do a little trick here. I'm gonna jump her. I'm gonna jump her start between the start winding and the neutral wire. So I'm gonna to just touch both of them with a screwdriver. I have it here somewhere here about. Ensure that your screwdriver is insulated. Don't touch the metal. Please don't do this. I further reiterate, don't stress, don't do this at home, okay? So, let's get the meat out of the way. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna place it between here on the start pin and just touch it for uh, about a second or so, there about. And that should kick the compressor on and you're gonna hear it start coming. You're gonna hear it start running, okay? It should be giving a suction pressure here. And at the back, it should be discharging on this side. This is your suction pipe, the discharge, and as you can see, I put on a, I, I braced in a suction service or access valve right here. So here's where you'll charge your refrigerant or recover it or pull a vacuum. This is where you hook up your gauge on. Which I'll demonstrate in further videos in the future. So, all I'm gonna do That's it. And if you hear that, my compressor is giving me a suction. You can hear that? It's sucking. And all the way to the rear, right there, so it's discharging. So there you go, that's your compressor running. Now all I gotta do, unplug, and she's out. So it has been proven that this compressor is actually a good one. And she's ready for service. So thank you again, this is Dr. Fino, it's been a pleasure. Thank you all you YouTubers out there. Thank you for viewing. Hope to see you in the future and I should have more videos. Thank you, and God bless.